This is the Sony TX650 audio recorder and I've been advocating these recorders for wedding videography and any videography for that matter. I use them in commercial projects myself. But I've been advocating these since I began my business four or five years ago. I still use these for all my weddings and I still love them. But now Sony have released an updated model, the TX660. I have been testing this new recorder out and what I really wanted to find out is how much better is this new 660 than this, the previous model, the 650. So let's find out. So first things first, I am recording this video, this audio with the 660 and the 650 so that we could get a side by side comparison. Obviously this is a different environment to a wedding, I'm just sat in a quiet room, there's not really any background noise. But just so that you can compare the two, this is me talking through the TX650, the original model, and this is me talking through the 660, the newer model. Again. This is the TX650, and this is the TX660. Of course, I have tested the new recorder at weddings. I've done several weddings using this recorder now, so here's an example of those. So in these examples, what I've done is taped the 660, the newer one, I've taped that to the microphone uh, that the speaker is using, and the 650, the older model, is clipped to their jacket pocket, as you can hopefully see from the footage. It's difficult to put into words, what we've done together in five or six years. We're inseparable and I can't wait to carry on the journey and spend the rest of my life with you. It's difficult to put into words what we've done together in five or six years. We're inseparable and I can't wait to carry on the journey and spend the rest of my life with you. So I'd love to hear what you thought of that. Let me know in the comments. Did it sound any better? Did you know? Did you even notice a difference? Personally, from the few tests that I've done, the few weddings that I've used this on, I do think there is a bit of an improvement. I think it sounds a bit cleaner, and I think it clips a little bit less than the previous model. There's a, there's a little improvement there, I think. But obviously, I, I, I need to test this more thoroughly. I need to use it in different scenarios, so I'll post more updates in the future. So now let's go through the settings and the feature improvements that have been made according to Sony. Now with the 650s, I have them set, I have the, the mic sensitivity set to low, I have them set in WAV format. I have done a video about this in the past uh, that you can see on my channel, the settings that I've used for my 650. I've applied that to the 660. Um, I've transferred the, the settings across just so that I'd get the best comparison. There are some new settings and features on the new one that I'll get into in a second. But, but first of all, from a hard, hardware point of view, the main noticeable difference straight away that you'll notice in the hardware with these is that the um, it's now USB-C. So the, the slot at the bottom, it's got gone. Gone is the little rubber tab that kind of hangs off the bottom that, that is a little bit annoying, to be honest. And the standard USB has been replaced with USB-C. Notoriously, the 650s were prone to not connecting to your computer unless you use the right cable, and there's issues with that. Um, that's hopefully been eradicated with these new ones. It's USB-C, it's a lot cleaner. You don't have the little rubber tab hanging off. Um, so they've changed it to USB-C. Now, according to the Sony website, which I'll link in the description below, I'm just referring to my notes here, apparently the 660 has a brighter recording light. So the LED that shows that the recorder is recording is brighter and easier to see. So when you've got it clipped into a jacket pocket or something, the idea is that you should be able to see that recording light from above. You don't have to take it out the pocket, check that it's recording, put it back in. It's supposed to be easier to see and a bit brighter. So you can, you can actually see the difference there in the LED, it is brighter and it's easier to see. It's not like a major difference, but I suppose you could argue it's that's a bit of an improvement. Um, does it make any noticeable difference to your workflow with these things? No, not really. Same goes for the screen. The screen on the 660 is 41% larger. It's an OLED display. It's 41% larger according to Sony. Um, and it is, it's the, the, the screen itself, the display is a bit bit bigger, bit brighter, easier to see. 
Now this is all well and good, but the only thing that I'm really concerned about is the is is there any improvement in the quality of the sound. Now, Sony are claiming that the that they're saying the improved digital stereo microphone reduces background sig signal noise without sacrificing microphone sensitivity. So apparently. These, this newer model can reduce background noise a lot better than this one can without having to impact or sacrifice any sensitivity in the mic. So it's, the mic's still sensitive to picking up as much sound as possible, but apparently it reduces background noise better. There is also a new setting on here, a new mode um, called auto voice recording. It automatically detects voice recording and again, reduces background noise even further so it can it can tell when someone is actually speaking and it can hone in on that and reduce background noise um so not only does this in general reduce background noise without sacrificing mic sensitivity but there in there is then an, a, a new set in a new mode that is designed to automatically pick up your voice and reduce background noise there as well i actually tried it in this mode this auto voice recording mode so I'll, i'm going to do that now um, so if I go into the settings, uh, 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 recording settings, it's in recording settings, it's in scene select in the menus, a bit like the 650, they've got the scene select uh, and you can choose whether you want it to be pocket or meeting, lecture, there's a few options um, and I'm going to put it into auto voice recording, you probably can't see it on there. But I'm going to turn on auto voice recording mode. Hit record on that. So this now is recording my voice in auto voice recording mode, which apparently reduces background noise. It's supposed to be a bit cleaner and sharper on my voice. Auto voice recording mode turned on. And this is with it turned off. This is auto voice recording turned off. This is just the default setting of the recorder. There's more info on the website of, of all the jargon and etc. But those are the main new improvements. And the question is, is this 660 worth getting over this 650? It's essentially yes, um, depending on your situation. The bottom line is that the 650 recently has been notoriously difficult to get hold of. Uh, they're always out of stock on Amazon. When they are in stock, they're, they're selling out really fast. Um, there's just not many of them about and it makes sense now that this has been announced that Sony is clearly Reducing the distribution of these old ones and just they're just trying to outright replace the 650 with the 660 So basically the answer is if you are looking to buy a Sony TX recorder Anywhere in the future Get the new one get the 660. It's the same price as the old one um, so It's just a replacement model and it's it's that little bit better. So if you are going to get one from now on, you might as well get the new one. If like me, you've already got a stack of 650s, I've already got half a dozen of these, do you need to replace all of those with these? Probably not, that's probably an expense that you don't really need to spend. Um, if, you, if you are looking to buy one, get this. If you've already got a load of these and you're wanting this to be a replacement and you've got six seven eight of these to replace and you're going to replace them up like it, it's probably not worth the expense for the the difference in in improvements that you get having said that it is i do think it is a marginal improvement and the beauty with these recorders is that obviously they're, they're good sound quality um but you get amazing convenience and just ease of just being able to clip it onto someone and it's good to go like they're so they're so easy to use if you are really concerned about audio quality, then of course you can get Tascams, you can get Rode Go mics. These aren't the best sound quality on the market, but for especially for wedding filmmaking and wedding videography, the ease and the convenience and the the tiny footprint, the inobtrusiveness to the groom or whoever's doing a speech, um, that's the selling point of these things. So if you are gonna get one, get the 660. Um, it makes sense, it's the newer model, it's a slight improvement and it's the same price. Um, do you need to replace all of these with these? Probably not. You know, maybe get one or two of the 660 uh, and, and try it out for yourself, see what you think. Um, you could always, if like me, I've just got the one at the minute and I'm prioritizing 
using this on the groom. So for example, when there's speeches in the wedding, typically three speeches, father of the bride, groom, best man, I'm giving the groom the 660 because I'm prioritizing the groom and, and everyone else gets the 650. But anyway, I hope this has been a helpful review, look, comparison of the Sony TX recorders. Um, I, I mean, I still, as, as a whole, either or 650, 660, they're still fantastic. I still highly recommend them. I've put a link below to the new model, the 660, uh, to Amazon. Hopefully they'll be in stock and you can go and check them out there. We as a wedding industry are very familiar with these recorders. We're using them all the time. So I'd love to get chatting about this new model. It's quite exciting for us wedding folk to have a new model. Um, it is a slight improvement and any questions, let me know in the comments. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching as ever and I will see you very soon.